Cancer. It's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot. Now coming to do your weekly reading from June 19th through June 26th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. Um, I want to thank everybody for like, share, and subscribe, and scheduling personal readings. And if you want a personal reading, just check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Um, I don't know if I said check your sun, moon, and rising signs, but if not, I did. So, let's start this party. Alright, what's in store for Cancer? Cancer, Cancer, June 9th. June 19th through June 26th, 2017. Love reading. Cancer. Alright, so I feel like somebody telling you something over and over and over. Let's see what they're telling you. Cancer. Mm. Whatever they've been telling you about, you've been having dread, bad dreams of it. Okay, so. I feel like somebody keep telling you over and over about your, your baggage. I'm feeling like it's emotional baggage right now. I feel like somebody did something to you in the past and it's affecting your relationship now, Cancer. All right, what are these bad dreams about for the cancer? What's keeping the cancer up late at night? Mm. So, you got secrets, huh? All right, what's these secrets for the cancer? What's going on with the cancer? Oh, you got a flyer. Mm. Okay, so it's something about somebody just coming in and out of your life that is making you feel like you can't sleep, sleep at night. So, I'm getting the feeling of you feel like this person is doing something they don't have no business and they keep telling you over and over and over and you're not, but this baggage you got from the past is not, it's not letting you get away. Yeah, your baggage is, is, is ruining your future with this person. Oh yeah, I just had like a, a crazy anxiety attack just a little one but this is telling you to stop what you're doing or you're gonna lose this person this could be somebody doing this to you it's a um general reading it can go both ways okay so yeah i see right now cancer you are trying to fix this about yourself you're trying to get rid of the baggage of what somebody's done to you in the past but for right now, it's still tearing you up. Oh, yeah, they're thinking about letting go of you because of this. So you might want to speed up that process. I don't know how. I don't know the song, Al Green, How Can You Mend a Broken Heart just popped up. But, oh, wow. So either you have been feeling like this for a short time like something this person did made you feel like this for some of you and for some of you this is a new relationship and you doing this to them you know you're like you ain't been with this person in like three six months and you starting to treat this person like the last person you know oh yeah yeah stop it because you you're freaking me out right now sorry <laughs> all right cancer 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 June 19th through June 26th, 2006, 2017. 2017. Oh, man. 2017 already. Mm, Will of Fortune reverse. Yep. So, that's um, things that's incomplete. You know, you want to be in this relationship and it's not being completed. And your feelings from your last relationship aren't complete because you didn't get it over it yet. You don't need closure. Just move on before it starts. Messing up your life. All right, June 19th through 26, 2017. Love reading. All right. Mm. All right, like I said, I read these straight out the book to make sure you get your full message. So first, we got the Eight of Cups. And it's reverse. It says, elaborate celebration, proclaimed happiness, 
and gatherings. New possibilities and, and can be created when you look in alternate directions. So stop looking behind you, you know. You see you looking back there. Look in front of you and, and realize what you have is not what you had, you know. And unless you do that, distinguish between these two, you, you're never going to... You're never going to get your wishes. All right, so so we got the two of coins. And that's upright. It says, be very careful in any papers you may sign. Make sure you're understanding any offers that it, it that are extended to you. So this is crazy. So this, like, maybe you guys are about to get an apartment or a house or something together. And you don't trust this person. Because of somebody else, what they did to you in the past. And now you're letting this affect, affect, affect your present. I don't know. All right, let's see. Let's read the judgment card. The judgment card says... What does this judgment card say? Hmm... All right, so the judgment card says, a time to pay for what has been done, a time to begin fresh and new again. Uh, the price has been paid, now begin again, can indicate legal matters ending successfully. So it's basically saying you can trust this person. You need to distinguish between that old person and this new person and realize that they're not going to do to you what they have, what your ex has done to you, you know? So we got the Queen of Staffs is last. All right. Queen of Staffs. All right. A very strong but loving person, a very responsible and caring individual. You can trust this person and what they say. So I feel like this is for you, Cancer, and this is for your partner. They can trust you. You can trust them. But until y'all learn to trust each other and get this together, then that letting go is going to happen. So trust them. Or move on. That's all I have for you guys. Make sure you check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description below. Thank everybody for everything and have a great day.